In this video, I am going to show you how we can configure unequal cost multipass or unequal load balancing in EIGRP. From rotor 1 to rotor 6 to, to reach quad 6 slash 32, we have 4 paths. Each pass has different uh, bandwidth and it means that we have different value for metric of each pass and the best pass is the pass from the rotor 5 because this pass has the highest bandwidth or lowest metric. Let me to show you. Show IP. EIGRP topology all links can show us for quad 6 slash 32 we have four paths and the best pass is the pass from the rotor 5 because this pass has the lowest metric also in the routing table show IP root EIGRP to reach quad 6 slash 32 we use now the serial 1 3 now I want to enable the variance for unequal cost load balancing show IP protocols can show us that the variance by default is 1 and now I want to increase the variance for example to 2 show IP EIGRP topology all links can show us that if you configure the variance as 2 it means that the 2 times of the metric of the best pass okay uh, is the metric that the pass with the metric lower than that metric can be injected to the routing table and don't forget that pass should be feasible success or according to the uh, condition for unequal cost load balancing here we have uh, for example only one pass that this pass is this feasible successor the pass from the rotor 4 because of that if you configure the variance as 2 only the serial 1 2 pass or the pass from rotor 4 will inject to the routing table let me uh, to show you here uh, you can configure the variance also before configuration this is our steps step 1 2 3 4 are done previously and now I want to configure variance as 2 in R1 and also as 6 as 2 in R in R6. Let me to configure it in the rotor 1, rotor EIGRP1. Okay, then variance command. You can enter a value between 1 to 100, 1 to 128. For example, let me to use variance 2 and show IP protocols can show us that the variance is 2 and show IP root EIGRP I can show us that here in the routing table of the rotor 1 now we have two paths with different metrics uh, to reach the quad 6 slash 32 now let me to show you the routing table of R6 or the topology table of R6 show IP EIGRP topology on link for the quad 1 slash 32 as you can see we have multiple paths okay and after that the best pass is the pass uh, b from the rotor 5 and it means that we should use the serial 1013 by default and this is the uh, successor pass metric as you can see now here we have three feasible successor pass because of that if you configure variance as two we expect to see all of this uh, for example three pass or actually all of these four pass will be inject to the routing table show ip show ip protocols can show us that now the maximum metric variance is one and also show ip root okay EIGRP can show us to quad one now we have only one pass let me to configure the top the variance in here I configured the EIGRP with the named mode rotor EIGRP lab address family IPv4 unicast AS number one again here you should go to the topology base and after that you need to configure the variance okay value for example two and then show IP EIGRP topology all link can show us that now we have four successor and show IP root EIGRP now can show us that all of these four paths are in the routing table. This is the configuration of the unequal cost multipass or unequal uh, actually multi unequal load balancing of the EIGRP.